I'm awfully glad. Actually, I'm always thrilled to be almost anywhere nowadays. So, <laughs> you know about, you know, I, I've been doing this since 19, I've been doing this for 56 years, actually. <laughs> It is, of course, the second oldest profession in the world, and uh, I love that part of it. You know, I love the thing that Ellen DeGeneres says about age. She says, you know, my grandmother started, when she turned 65, she started walking five miles a, a week, and uh, she's 95 years old now, and we don't know where the hell she is. <laughs> Joan Rivers said, you know, getting old is, uh, is interesting, you know, it means that you get to have a see-through lingerie and nobody can see through. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Anyway, young and foolish. I, I, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a great, I'm a great fan of... Uh, uh, when I started out, how long have I been doing this now? I told you that. So I started out in, living in Colorado and I would, I would go to these... Uh, my father, I grew up on, on Rogers and Hart and Rogers and Hammerstein. But my dad was a devoted, he was a true blue liberal and uh, believed in all the FDR things, you know? He believed in Social Security and, and uh, all, all the things that we, we love and treasure that this guy did. Like, uh, I'm wondering why they don't put, all, put people together to uh, fix the infrastructure. You know, what, what uh, Roosevelt figured out, what was it, TVA? Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, maybe it'll happen, who knows, who knows? Um, anyway, I, I grew up on Mae West stories, you know, I may, I, my dad would be on the radio and he'd read from Emerson and he'd read Dylan Thomas and then he'd sing a song or two, Rogers and Hart, you know, I'd say, my funny valentine, sweet comic valentine, you make me smile with my heart, and then he would tell a Mae West story, you know, like Mae West who said, restraint is fine if it doesn't go too far. And she said, I used to be Snow White, but I drifted. <laughs> and, and, uh, and then she said, uh, you know, uh, her friend came to see her do a show one night and she was dressed in this long mink coat and May said, well, why, darling, where did you get that beautiful thing? And May, her friend said, well, May, I, I met a man with $10,000. And the next time they met, it was Mae West, you know, who had this long, gorgeous coat, and her friend said, well, Mae, how, where did you get that? Did you meet a man with $10,000? And Mae said, well, no, darling, I met 10,000 men with a dollar. <laughs> looking at the American Idol of 1956. <laughs> I won the Kiwanis Cup. They're still having these contests. I don't know if you know about the Kiwanian, the Kiwanians, but they have these contests and they, they still have them. I have nephews who've won them, who have, you know, the plaques up on their walls. And I won the Stars of Tomorrow uh, contest when I was, uh, I don't know, 16, 17. But I had just found folk music. And so I came from, from Rogers and Hart and uh, Mae West right into Woody Guthrie and Pete Seeger without us slowing down for a minute, you know. And my father, of course, you know, the guy who ran the Folklore Society in Denver was a guy named Lingo the Drifter. And he'd come over to my father's house after I found uh, these songs. You know, I found, I found the Gypsy Rover and uh, Barbara Allen and, and my piano playing days were over. Mozart just paled in comparison. And, and then I found Woody Guthrie and Pete Seeger and my, my, my friend Lingo the Drifter would come to the house and he was, he ran the Folklore Society in Denver. And so all these very misfits like me, you know, we would all, we would all gather together and learn all these songs, you know, and he'd come over to my family's house and he'd be dressed in buckskin and have an old guitar and he, he would sing, this land is my land, this land is your land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. And my father would sing, some enchanted evening. I dreamed I saw joy in last night. Salt Lake Joe says I dim in 
today of something wonderful that the Morrisons and the Hills got together right here in Utah, right here in Salt Lake City. And they talked and they had a reconciliation. By God, that's right. It takes more than guns to bring us down. And standing there as big as life and smiling happened and all the good that can come to pass. Oh, 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 oh. 